Hey guys, uh, this is a very important unboxing. I want to jump right into it as quick as I can because the box is very wet because of the weather. And I want to get whatever I can out of here before any of the water permeates through and potentially causes damage. Um, so, thankfully, the seller did pack things up pretty darn well. I've dealt with him before. Um, this is the same person who sent me the photographs of Herman Recknagel at Dunkirk receiving his Knight's Cross. Um, I'm just reading the note that he left here. I guess this one is just a thank you note. Last time he left a lot of important information. Thankfully he really protected his packaging because we have nasty weather right now. Um, now, I haven't got it confirmed from him, but I believe the person who sent all of this was the, or, yeah, well, yeah, was the author, or is the author, I should say. Sorry, I got a lot on my mind right now. Uh, was the author of the book on the division that Herman was part of at the time of Dunkirk. Okay, so some of them are like this, and some of them are in here. So, yeah, let's dig in here and figure out what we all got. I believe there's like 70-something photos total. Not all of them are... Um, not all of them are of Herman, but at least all are from the era of Dunkirk or, well, the 1940 era. Oh, jeez. Okay, so this is for the Knight's Cross recipient, the Knack. Receiving his Knight's Cross. Three photo set. All of them have writing on the back. Yes. So I will try and go through and check out some of the writing on here and see if I can't get anything additional from it. I want to keep everything together here how it was so I can kind of go back through and uh, check things with the notes that he left because each. Each item has a set of notes on it. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see. We got a lot of stuff in here. And this is for the Knight's Cross of Gerhard Voigel, who was part of Pioneer Battalion 18, which if you watch the other video I did on Herman, the other Herman unboxing, um, there was a member, the commander of Pioneer Battalion 18, who was part of that. So I guess some of these were reproduction or something I believe was in his notes as well. And by reproduction, probably just a reprint. Um, I would assume that, as he said in his first note, that most of these and, like, the quality of the picture, the style of the print, are mostly the same from the first lot that I got from him. So I would imagine that a lot of these came from the doctor the divisional, like the head divisional doctor of the 18th Infantry Division. Uh, I have forgotten his name with the time being, but I can go back and check if anyone is interested. I have it written down somewhere. Um, not sure. Oh, here we go. Okay, so, oh, this was the reprint, I believe, this one. Very interesting. Very cool. I'll have to do some research on some of these guys. Um, smaller members of the division. That, well, I guess less famous members of the division, although some of these guys have interesting stories as time goes on. You can kind of learn more about them. Um, very cool, too. A lot of the photos are depicting General Kranz. And I kind of, now that I have quite a few photos of him, I was thinking about doing a video on him. His story is very interesting. Um, 
He was killed in an artillery accident at a training facility in 1941, I believe. Now, from the last set of photos I was given from, or, well, that I purchased from the seller, uh, he listed that this was Hauptmann, I believe Hauptmann, uh, Schmeling, which was the commander of the Pioneer Battalion in the unit. And uh, I can tell there that's him. I would like to go through with the magnifying glass and see if I can't find Recknagel in here somewhere. That's Kranz. And same here, I would like to try and go through and see if I can find Recknagel with the uh, magnifying glass. Sorry, I'm just going to pull this one away so I can kind of look at it a little bit closer. So at this time of Dunkirk, uh, Herman Recknagel was the commander of the 54th Infantry Regiment. Um, yeah, so these all have to be from the same person. Uh, in the other set of photos I have, there's a little cutout like this as well. Um, yeah, these ones focus on Kranz. Actually, I have that photograph, I believe, or one very similar to it in the other listing or grouping that I have. Um, I could probably link the video to that in this video. Sorry, I've, I'm just trying to get through all this and see everything. There's a lot to cover here. I believe this photo was in the other set as well, except this is a, a larger print of it. I just got home from work too, so I'm trying to stay focused here on everything. Quite a few photos of Kranz. Um, let me pull this one again too. There's also quite a few photos of, uh, in this other upcoming set here, of uh, Lay as well, and Lay has an interesting story too. Oh my, sorry, I thought these were all in shot. I hope those weren't terribly out of shot. Oh well. Um, at some point, these photographs will all make their way to um, other videos as well as unboxings or just kind of a quick... Well, I'm going to try and make this a quick thing because we're already at eight minutes and we, we still have more to go. Yeah, so here is uh, Robert Lay from the Deutsche Saarbeit Front. Oh yeah, so he was killed at Nuremberg. Very interesting. But uh, yeah, here's Lay with... Sorry, <laughs> here's Kranz with Lay. Um, really cool. I, I would like to go through all these photographs and see if there's any familiar faces in the background, like, you know, if uh, different adjutants or things like that keep showing up, even if they're not named. Uh, just kind of recognizing the faces. Okay, so we are through the bulk of the main stuff. I do, I found out where everything else is here. So we'll jump into kind of the, the big stuff that I was looking forward to. Um, I believe I had another unboxing video where I showed something similar to this, except it's signed. Uh, this one is not signed, but it is cool to have a cutout of his award recognition. Now, this would have been for his uh, Oak Leaves to the Knight's Cross. And this is the 319th recipient. So, very cool to see. Now, here we have the regiment on parade. And at the very front most, we have Herman on his horse. Uh, one of the videos I, tra or one of the articles I translated mentioned that he was an avid horse rider, which is very cool um, to actually see him on horse now. Uh, Einmarsch in Glogau, oh, Glogau, Nach. 
intel. Uh, so in Frankenreich, Feldzug, so the campaign of France, uh, the first rider is Hermann Recknagel, or Oberst Recknagel, and then I believe that's something about the photograph itself. Um, but yeah, at some point this had come from an album, which at the end of this video I'll pull up something else too, which is very interesting about some of these photographs. Now I guess these were, oh this is almost like gloss, very interesting. But yeah, these are, these three are repros. These were definitely probably done post-war, but it is very cool to have um, copies of these, like physical copies. Um, yeah, Gefallen by Lotz. Okay, so yeah, this was common knowledge for whoever at the time too. Uh, his grave is still unknown, nobody really knows where he's buried. Um, he was, well, there, I've heard various reports, which someday would be an uh, interesting video of itself. Um, I've seen this photograph online. I've never seen somebody saying that they have the original copy. Maybe it's an archive photo for all I know. Uh, this photograph I've never seen before, uh, prior to this. Uh, again, probably it's from the same shoot as this, but very interestingly too, um, this is actually a... Croatian award, I believe. Um, I imagine that was because there were Croat units in his core or around his core when they broke out and um, probably just like as a sign of thanks for helping their troops out, but very cool. And whoever has the original photo of this would have a signed copy as well. I have several in my collection, but not one like this, but great photographs though, even if they are repros, these are awesome. Um, okay, so that is the main part of this. We're at 11 minutes. This is probably going to be a 20-something minute video. Uh, I used to call these Feld Post Friday. I will still probably call this one a Feld Post Friday. It's being recorded on Friday. I doubt by the time I actually post it or that it gets uploaded that it will be Friday. Last time I tried to upload a video like this, it took almost 20 hours for it to upload. I don't know why, but uh, for whatever reason, it's been very complicated with the upload times. Um, now this is... This is great that it still has the remnants of the photo album. I don't know if the outside was destroyed or if it was pulled at one point or whatever, but... Yeah, from Infantry Regiment 54, so... We'll have to go through here at some point and check some of the names and try and really take a look at this writing because it's, it's in, like, the cursive script and sometimes it's a little bit hard to read, especially with the fading on it. This is the one I was most excited about, though. Sorry again for the frame. I'm just so focused on looking in at everything here and making sure we're all in okay condition. Um, take note of this if you can. Um, maybe I'll timestamp stuff at the end and come back. At the end of the video, I'll show you why this is important. So here we have, clearly labeled from an album, Oberst Recknagel, Oberleutnant Falta. I have to presume that these are... Oh, wow. Now, see, I didn't know that until I lifted that up. Underneath here, I don't want to lift it up too far. De Alterec, um, which was a nickname given to him by his men. <sighs> the back there is writing, but I really don't. I don't want to pull it out of the album or anything. This was. I have to presume that this is probably the original photograph or one of them, if they were from a lot that maybe the soldiers shared or something, but. The soldier labeled it as this, and I'll show you why that's important at the end of the video, but very cool to see. Um, now here we have uh, Major Krobeck, which again, take in mind, this is also important for what comes up later. Pretty, which actually, I believe, I believe that would be Major Krobeck, but I could be wrong, I guess I could be him too. Um, I don't actually have a good photograph of him. But if you look up Major Krobeck, C R C sorry, C H R O B E C K, um, I, I just have a thing where I don't like posting other people's photographs without you know their permission. I, I wouldn't feel great if people did that for me, so um, I don't really do it myself. But we'll show you in a minute here at the end of this. And it'll all make sense kind of why I keep reiterating back reiterating back to this. Um, very cool photographs though overall. funeral procession here. 
right, we're almost through here. Ah, uh, these photographs got pulled at some point here. Try and fix up these camera angles a little bit. So yeah, at some point these were pulled. This is neat. Okay, I'll have to go through and read, read up on this. Like I said, I'm gonna try and keep everything together here, so. All right, one last section. Now these are something completely different. This is from the 268th division. I just thought there were some really cool photos in here and the price was right. So I'm not sure, again, I know that this person at one point had collected f photo albums and stuff. So I don't know if this was something that he compiled or if this was just how he'd received it. Or again, if he had ties to somebody uh, from the unit or what. Really early, well, I should say here, really cool early war photographs. A soldier in a political uniform with a machine gun. Troops on march with their early war helmets. Trying to find the best way to show this because it's kind of all stapled together. Sorry for the glare, but you can see here the really early war uniforms, the uh, transitional uniforms from the Reichswehr to the Wehrmacht. Um, very cool overall. Can probably go through here and find a way to do an analyzing historical photographs for some of these, but. Um, yeah, just very cool overall. Okay, well hopefully uh, some of the stuff was in shot that at the beginning there that I thought maybe wasn't. Um, if not, if there was something you guys really thought was interesting that you'd like to see a close-up on, I can definitely do its own video or do some annotations. Uh, all right, that's it for now. I'm gonna go grab the book I was going to mention and then I'll finish up the video here. Okay, so this is a book about the 18th Infantry Division. Now, I did mention that the author, I still have to get his personal confirmation of this, um, but the person who sent me these photographs, I do believe, sorry, I'm trying to get this in shot. Um, I do believe that he published a separate book on the 18th Division. Now, oh, sorry, this is just not a great angle. I don't like normally adjusting everything, but it's hard to get this book on on camera. So up here you see it says Major Krobeck, uh, Commander of in, uh, 1st Battalion Infantry Regiment 54. And that is the photograph that I have now saying that it is Herman Recknagel. Now, I believe this to be a instance of misidentification. Now, if it did come from the person who I got the photographs from, perhaps they misinterpreted when they said that's Krobeck and, you know, there's Oberst Recknagel there. Because if they just sent photo scans, maybe things got mixed up. I don't know. Um, I am considering trying to figure out a way to contact the author of this book to see, you know, if they ever make an amendment or if they do another set of publishings or whatever. Um... But I would like to send a, you know, a photograph of these pictures to maybe clarify that if this is the case of misidentification. The awards all match what Herman had at this time. Um, I'm not sure when Krobeck had been awarded his awards, but I'd have to double check that. Um, again, if you're interested, I would definitely recommend like uh, Traces of War. You can see Major Krobeck in a photograph of him. I don't think that's him. Um, now, also on the original here, too, you can see it says Oberleutnant Walter, and that would be him. Sorry, this, that's not in shot, but the man on the left is Oberleutnant Walter. Now, uh, looking down here, this is just kind of a interesting thing from my end. Now, here we have Schmeling again, 
and up there we have Herman Recknagel, Recknagel receiving his award at Dunkirk, actually receiving his Knight's Cross. Um, now I've seen other photographs from this set online in forums and things like that. It's been my dream to someday own those photographs. I don't ho I don't have them. If I obtain those photographs, that would be absolutely phenomenal. So in some way, that's part of my reasoning for constantly making videos on him. Um, and here you can see again, too, at the beginning of the video, um, we have him on horseback as well. Up here, at, well, sorry, this isn't really the best video for filming. Um, but yeah, here you can see he's listed up here, so I have that photograph as well. Um, being that the soldier, or being that the person who sent these photographs had relatives in the 18th, um, I have a feeling that a lot of these photographs might have come from him. If, you know, maybe, uh, the author was trying to inquire from his other book that was published. I'm not sure which book was published first, all that, um, more things to look into for me. This is a really nice photo album, f photo book though. It takes a lot of different photos from different sets. And uh, you should probably recognize this photo as well of uh, Oberleutnant Benach receiving his Knight's Cross. Um, so, yeah, just uh, really cool. A lot of the photographs now that are in my collection are actually in this book. Um, like I said, I would like to clarify with the author to see if maybe this photograph here is just a case of misidentification or if he has some, you know, additional information, but I, I'm almost 100% certain that that is Ragnagel, not Krobeck. Um, and yeah, who knows, maybe someday you'll see an unboxing video where it's uh, me obtaining the photograph of Herman getting his knights crossed. That would be absolutely phenomenal. Um, but one can dream anyways. Pull this up here once. Yeah, again, sorry, this isn't really the best uh, video for filming have a lot of different stuff at different sizes. I was in a hurry getting out of work, trying to make sure this box wasn't destroyed in the rain and the melting snow. So that's all I have for you guys today. I thought that was pretty interesting, especially how it ties in with the book that's in my collection as well. Um, yeah, we'll have to do a little bit more research on the 18th and uh, I guess eventually someday you'll probably see some videos on them as well. Right now, a lot of my focus is on the 111th Division, uh, and I am still in the process of recording, well, now I'm in the process of recording before I was translating and all that fun stuff for um, the video for the breakout on Taganrog. So the script is done. We are recording. Hopefully within a month or so, that should all be published and ready to go. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys, as always. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the content. And uh, if there's other stuff you'd like to see, drop it in the comments. I always like hearing from you guys. So have a great rest of the day, and I'll catch you next time.